Well, hello everybody. I'm Father Tom Weisbecker and I'm here to do my weekly uh, update for us here at St. James Catholic Church here in Omaha. And I again appreciate all those who come to Mass this past weekend. The numbers are up somewhat and you know, we're, we're growing some. It's great to get together and, and uh, see everybody and be a, a member of the, the parish. We have plenty of room and so additional people can certainly come and we invite all those who feel comfortable to come and join us this coming Sunday. You know, it's uh, great to get together and again to receive Jesus Christ in the, in the, in the Eucharist. If someone wants to wear a mask, that's fine. You know, it's uh, whatever makes you feel comfortable. Uh, we, we still have social uh, distancing in, in the pews or every other pew, stuff like that. So um, where we can continue to record our Sunday mass uh, on Saturday evening, that mass uh, this week, uh, Father Connect will be doing that. And um, so those who are not able to attend can watch our celebration on Sunday morning on our website. So, and just a reminder, we're still hearing confessions uh, Saturday afternoon from 3 to 4.30. Please come join us. You know, it's uh, big news is that we've decided on our dates for confirmation and First Communion. Uh, confirmation will be on May 31st, the end of the month here, and uh, the uh, Feast of Pentecost. I mean, go figure. Uh, it's very appropriate for confirmation. We'll do that at two o'clock in the a separate uh, ceremony, two o'clock in the afternoon. Archbishop Lucas has given me delegation to confer the sacrament as, as he's not able to. And, you know, it's uh, a real privilege for me to be able to do that. I, hopefully our students are okay with me doing their confirmation. But we actually had Archbishop Curtis scheduled to do that uh, back in April. And uh, obviously he's not able to do that at this time. Father Ryan Lewis is going to have uh, St. Elizabeth Ann's confirmation the week after that on, on June 7th. And uh, you know, if, if our students are not able to uh, be, come here on the 31st, they are welcome to come join the people at uh, St. Elizabeth Ann on theirs and vice versa. So those who are maybe not able to come to theirs at Elizabeth Ann, they will be able to come join us at St. Um, James here on, on the 31st. So, um, you know, you know Definitely be different this year. I mean, that's I mean, again. We're, I'm, I'm just happy we're able to move forward, and that, that we, the, the, you know, we, it'll never be a perfect time. So, uh, it's uh, hopefully a, a, a chance for our our confirmandees to have a great experience to receive the Holy Spirit upon them, and they've been, uh, you know, trying going forward for this couple of years, and now's the culmination and. So they're going to be different, but it's again, praise God and the spirit come upon them. And hopefully you know, the spirit has a very poor aim and can do great things and can do uh, just receive the gifts and the fruits. And we look forward to that. For First Communion, um, we plan on celebrating that two weeks later on the solemnity of the Corpus Christi, which is the body and blood of Christ. You know, it's, it's also very appropriate. I know our second graders are so anxious to, to be able to receive First Communion, and we'll be doing that uh, on that day. So we'll be having Mass at 11.30 and at 2 o'clock that day. So again, if uh, hopefully social distancing will be uh, a little bit easier uh, in that time. That's a, a, almost a month away, and uh, we'll be able to have more people come to that. But, uh, it's, uh, you know, that's... Uh, uh, we, we, I know it's a big deal, but you know, so we have this extra mass at 2.30, uh, 2 o'clock on that Sunday. And uh, so that, again, there'll be uh, extra room. Hopefully we'll be, we'll have, we'll have to probably uh, assign pews and things like that, which we do normally. And, and to just make, figure out how many people could be there, how much space between them, all that stuff. More details will be coming shortly. Tomorrow is actually the Solemnity of Ascension. Um, which is a, normally a holy day of obligation, but this year that obligation has been lifted. But we have it at a, a vigil mass at uh, 5.30 uh, tonight. And that will be, uh, again, fulfill the, you don't, you don't have to come, but again, to, to celebrate the, that Jesus has ascended to the Father's right hand. 40 days after Easter, can you believe it's, the time's gone by that fast? And so we will be, having that. We also have our regularly scheduled Masses in the morning, 6.30 and 8.15, so we invite everybody to come and let's celebrate the Ascension of Jesus. 
Tomorrow morning also would have been the last day of school for school kids. You know, that's kind of a, you know, a very, you know, basically a, a kind of a sad day that we're not able to be able to celebrate the end of the school year as we would like to. Uh, but, uh, you know, we, to celebrate this as best we can, I would actually encourage, invite people to come to the 815 Mass. We would have had an all school Mass that day uh, to celebrate uh, the closing of school. And we're going to have, uh, starting at nine o'clock, we're going to have the school teachers and the staff be outside, you know, saying goodbye, waving at people and, and, and as a car drive by and uh, you know, encourage people to come. And, and uh, the point being too, is that you know, we want to put some closure on the school year. It's been kind of strange these years, these days, you know, video conferencing and homework by remote control and parents having to do stuff. This is a chance to, to really say, this is the end, you know, it's over. Uh, and so uh, to put some closure on our school year and actually help the kids to feel like uh, summer vacation is actually starting now and really have a chance to celebrate that. There will also be a, a ceremony tomorrow evening uh, starting at 6.30 for our eighth grade, grade eighth graders to come and get their eighth grade completion certificates and have a picture taken of them in front of our, our cross out, out there in, in the courtyard. Uh, the ceremony, again, this, this uh, I'm not fully in charge of all the details, but as I understand, there'll be a, a broadcast on YouTube live of comments from um, our principal, Bill Kelly, and our vice principal, Tiffany Howard, and the teachers, and you'll be able to listen to that in your cars, and then the students will be called up one at a time, again, to, to be clapped and, and uh, appreciated to, to, to receive their certificate. I mean, we, we don't have graduation at this time, but you know, this is a way of, again, putting closure on our school year. Next Monday, is Memorial Day, and you know it's kind of you know, it's a national holiday. So we will only have the one mass in the morning at nine o'clock, and we invite people to come to that. We also have a big event coming up uh, with a priest ordination of uh, Deacon Zach, uh, Zach Tucker. You know, he's, you probably hopefully remember him from last summer. We had him here for um, the summer, and and uh, he's we've actually been blessed to have him here with us now because you know they closed down the seminary in the North American College in Rome and so he's been going to classes here in his bedroom here at the, the, uh, the rectory. So at St. Cecilia's Cathedral on June 6th is his ordination to the priesthood. Now uh, because of the, uh, the, the pandemic and all that uh, there, there's a very limited number of people are able to come. I'm looking forward, I hope I can be invited, but everybody has to have an invitation to come. And so it's not open to everybody, but we do still certainly want to celebrate uh, Deacon Zach's uh, ordination to the priesthood. We wish him well in his future assignment and uh, he will, we expect great things to come from him. Um, I'd also like to thank uh, the, uh, our, those who have been so generous in uh, contributing our Sunday contribution. We're, we're um, you know, it's not, as normal, but it's we're also not doing poorly. So I, again, I, I thank all those who've been generous and those of us who haven't been, perhaps we could step it up some to keep us going and keep our, uh, keep our parish flourishing. Thank you for that. And to, to conclude, we have some very exciting weeks ahead, a lot of activities and for us and for our students and our parishioners. We're making progress in moving forward. I, I uh, hope this will continue and that we'll get back to some real normalness soon. Uh, let's keep each other in prayer and pray, pray for those who are sick and you know, those that they get well soon. We pray for people who are afraid too, that it's, we, it's, it's, it's time to you know, basically step forward you know, it's, and keep everybody safe too. We have to do, do that also, but always let's do that. Let's invoke uh, the names of Jesus, Mary and St. Joseph and invoke, intercede, to have them intercede for us and, cause this pandemic to end so, real soon. It, it would be so wonderful. Hopefully the warm weather will see the end of it and we can move forward. <sighs> Have a great week, everybody. I wish you the best. And um, we'll be again here next week too. So I just ask your ble uh, God's blessings upon everybody in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. <laughs>